right now I'm on the My Disney Experience map. My, Di <laughs> My Disney Experience app. And I'm trying to find somewhere to eat. I did find this place, the Chef de France. Oh yeah, we could do Chef de France. We can't because it's 5.22.8. Oh. Nice. What are you trying to find? What what? Six thirty. What is on your list? Seven. Kelly's Kelly's mommy and son itinerary. San Angels. Oh, San Angel Inn. I like that one in Mexico. Yeah, because I really want that. Want to get that one. Well, I'm you know that one doesn't always. You don't always have to book a reservation. So that one we could probably. Um, that one we could probably just um, show up and book that one when we get there. Hey guys, so mommy and Kelly day continues <laughs> and we decided to go to Epcot. We're going to do some pin trading and I think mom said about food, wine and dine. Oh yeah, the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival is still going on so we can yep. wander and sample some food that we haven't tried before. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and living with the land and test track we actually got a test track fast pass what what that's crazy what yep. <laughs> same day too like you literally booked it while we're driving to orlando yeah that's pretty crazy so we're going to go to epcot and we'll see you guys there and this copper his cone is shame is off yay <laughs> copper no more cone of shame where's your cone of shame <laughs> Are you glad it's off, buddy? Kelly, what did you think of the cone of shame? Did, was it a good look for him? Yeah. <laughs> but it, but we kept bumping into him. Oh, I know. He was like everywhere. We are here at Epcot, and I am real excited just to hang out with this guy. Usually, <laughs> what's well, true? <laughs> Making silly faces. Usually, Tim is the one hanging out with Kelly because they have Boy Scout campouts and Boy Scout events. And I rarely get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with you. One-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. So I'm like really excited that I just get to hang out with you because that's why we do what we do. That's why we have Jones Family Travels. That's why we travel. That's why we homeschool. To have all that quality time with our kids. <laughs> so I'm glad that we're here. Kelly's like, really, Mom? Really? <laughs> right? I can, I can see that look. You've got that look like, really, Mom? Dude, seriously. We are going to hit Epcot. Hopefully we're not going to get rained on because look at the crazy clouds. Can you see those crazy clouds? I think we may possibly get rained on. Hopefully not. I did have umbrellas, but I left them in the car. <laughs> I just realized that now. Eh, my bad. We'll, we'll take our chances. I'm sure we'll be okay. We just got through security at Epcot and Kelly has a trick. What is your trick, Kelly? Don't make eye contact. <laughs> he thinks if you don't make eye contact with the security guards, you can walk right through and not have to actually go through the metal detectors. I would have to agree with them. Every time I'm looking down at my bag, I don't get asked to go through security. Every once in a while they'll grab me, but most of the time they don't actually ask you to stop. You just look preoccupied. I thought for a split second there, we were gonna pass the maps. <laughs> One time I did forget a universal map. You did? One time? What? Well, not not one time, but multiple times I have forgotten the map. <laughs> Do you want to get a festival guide too while we're here? Of course. Oh, of course. What was I thinking? Do you have enough pockets? Yeah, I have You have pockets. your cool just... little fishing shirt on, so you have plenty of pockets. Yeah. <laughs> You got an Epcot, and what do you do? You play Pokemon Go. What? Wait, rephrase that. When you're at a park, Magic Kingdom, Universal, Pokemon Go, no, no matter what. Because <laughs> the parks are the most, has the most Pokemon gyms, stops, and the most, most common place to find rare Pokemon. Does it really? Yeah. Oh, good to know. All right, I will like, follow you to our like, first ride and like we'll do all, Pokemon Go. Like already, I got Tang Tangela, which I have never caught before. What? All right, so I'll follow you, Pokemon Go. Um, 
two Pokemon, Magikarp and that one, and Rata. They're not, they're actually kind of common. I'm trying to find a starter Pokemon for the new generation. That's where we're going. Living with the lands. Look at all of these kid quotes. This is by an 11 year old. Oh, and this one is a sixth grade class. source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals. All right, guys, you gotta watch for the hidden Mickey. If you see a hidden Mickey, condition. leave a comment. There's a ton Some, of them in like here. the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. There's a bunch of hidden Mickeys in here. Gotta watch for them. Water fish farming or aquaculture accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. Our small yeah. fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants. Alright, there should be Hit Mickey right over here. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce valuable harvests oh, no, and still where is protect it? natural oh, resources. It it's ever on that side. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our edible diet. <laughs> yeah. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food yeah, consumption. Look at that big old Learning how right to there. increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Look at those over there. I have no idea what those are. Look at those. Those eggplants. These plants are they definitely are on their way banana. up. Innovative wow. growing techniques like these increase yields. Oh while more my gosh, look at this melon. Like water, that has got to be the world's biggest melon. Look at that thing. 
Winter melon. Holy moly. There's one back here too. Look at that one back there. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests, like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. Oh, yeah. We can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Wow, that's a lot of lettuce. Those right there are cucumbers. More lettuce up there. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature. And all the like, like hydro products and vegetable trees. Those are so by cool. growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good That's as they so look. Cool. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses Strawberry. and Strawberry. restaurants here at the land Strawberry. every year. Oh, look at this. These peppers are huge. Everything like, is huge. I like how almost everything that's like big, like a winter melon, watermelon, or like hanging. <laughs> yes. That is cool. Here's a bunch more hanging stuff. Look at all these over here. It's not moving. Look at all these hanging ones. It's not moving. There we go. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing oh, methods. That saves slowly, water but and increases moving. production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plant. Gotta stop to put the stickers on. On our passport, right? I think this is like our third or fourth book this year. <laughs> but we still gotta put the stickers on. And this time I'm actually gonna keep where keep it on where we actually been. You think so, huh? Yeah. You're determined this time. Actually follow through. Are we gonna actually eat here at Urban Farm Eats? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you think so? Alright, what are you what are you gonna get? I don't know. Do you have a plan of action here, kid? No. No plan of action. We're gonna skip Urban Farm Eats and go elsewhere. I think we're gonna go left this time instead of right. So we're gonna hit Mexico first and make our way around. I'm not sure we can eat all the way around the world, but we're gonna try. Are we gonna try? Are we gonna yeah. eat all the way around the world? Yeah. Can we do it? I'm not sure I could do it. And then we have test track after that. <gasps> I think I found our first stop. Yes, right here. Sugar cane, shrimp skewer. Ooh, and conch salad. Oh, I think Jamaica's my favorite friend right now. <laughs> you wanna get to Jamaica? Jamaica, come on. Jamaica, come on. Or give me your best. Yaman. Yaman, come on, yeah. There's all the shrimp growing back there. I wish you guys had smell a vision. It smells so good. Yum. fun vlogging just our family but every once in a while we catch other stuff that is really really funny so in Jamaica at Jamaica when we were trying to get our food the cast member was busy chatting with all these other cast members and the chef saw me actually videotaping them but the chef was like oh you're getting videotaped you probably need to you know finish what you're doing and serve this woman it was really funny so every once in a while do you think that was pretty funny that the chef was like um you're getting videotaped so you better do your job I didn't even see it. You didn't see it? Because she was like feeling dally. Like we gave her our receipt to actually serve us. And she started to put the skewers and the rice down and started talking with the cast members, totally ignoring us. And then that's when the chef realized that we were videotaping and goes, um, you're getting videotaped. You need to hurry up and serve them. <laughs> we got... What is it I already forgot? Seared shrimp shallots. I mean, seared shrimp. Seared shrimp. But there's something else to it. It was at Jamaica, right there. I don't remember what it was. It's at Jamaica and it's shrimp. Are you gonna pull it out? I always do. All right, but it looks cool. It looks cool, it's, it's like on a skewer sugar cane. and it comes with rice. Sugar cane. Oh, that's right. Sugar cane shrimp skewer. Oh, that's skewer. what the skewer is. Yeah, all right, you gonna try it? They put like the sauce on the top. Looks good. I think you have to peel off the shrimp there, kid. <laughs> ah. Mm. 
Not bad. Is it sweet? It's not sweet. I would think with the sugar cane, they'd be sweet. And it also comes with rice. The best part. The rice is good. Soda. <laughs> There's some kind of thing. Is there something on it you don't like? Watch out. That person's gonna try to eat our food. That's cute. Kelly found pins, but look at this. It's actually an ice cream bar. That's so cute. All right, bud. What pins do you want to trade for? Any on there? No. Nope. <laughs> Thank you, though. Those two? Yes. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. Nothing else, they have sombreros! Sombreros! Let's see it. Oh, me, not you. Is this a good luck for us? Wait, we can't get too close or we're gonna like bump heads. <laughs> Alright, let's see your dance. <laughs> no Morocco's. We always walk by that big earth, the, the big globe thing in um, Illumination Show. But as we're walking by the American Adventure, I'm like, let's go take a look at it. Because it's like right here. Like right there. That's cool. Never seen it this close before. Look how cool that is. It's like right there, right next to the theater. Right there. It's a huge. That is so cool. So this is part of that illumination show. Check out the new photo pass. Hello. Can we do photo pass? We can do photo pass. Awesome. So here are the new lotus flowers. And you hold them. And photo pass gets your picture. Aren't those cool? It's time to make the world's fastest car on test track. So is your car going to be the world's fastest car? Or is mommy's going to be the world's fastest car? I think we'll have to go together because I don't think we'll have to be able to do it. Because mommy's car is seriously world's fastest. We'll, we'll ask. So here is my car. Souped up. Special pink and flowers. So here is Kelly's. I don't know, man. I think mine is going to be the world's fastest. I and I think yours is like off road. <laughs> mine, is, mine is almost all equal. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. 58. and I don't even care about the design. I just care about getting it equal. I think it looks good. I didn't even look to see efficiency and power. So, so now we're going to see for sure who has the fastest car. This is gonna be faster! We'll begin. 
begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. Connecting to OnStar. Ready for a really Simcar performance data acquired. See how your designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off road and extreme weather sequence. Oh, right, Capability done. test results displayed and verified. Now Woo let's see how your vehicles can go when it comes to their efficiency. Hyperspectral imaging in progress. Calculating total enviro impact. Oh, Kelly Star for one on this one. And I'm number three. This is my favorite point. Commencing responsiveness test. Yep, responsiveness. Okay, the responsiveness data is now being synchronized. Automated driving technology verified and active. This is what I wish real world would be like. <laughs> Please watch. Final score was 200. Kelly, what was your final score? 